hello friends welcome back to smart code and we are back with a video and in today video we will learn what are the new feature which is introduced in flutter 3.29 so the first feature which is introduced is the cappuccino widget updates and there is an update in the cappuccino navigation bar and the cappuccino silver navigation bar so now both accept the bottom widget suitable for search fields or the segment controls and in the cappuccino silver navigation bar we have the new property that is bottom mode property which configure the visibility of the bottom widget during the scroll action either it is for the auto resizing until the hidden or always visible so in that screenshot you can see here so there's also the behavioral changes in the navigation bar in the cappuccino silver navigation bar we have the snap between the expanded and the collapse state when partially scroll you can see in the screenshot also and there's a new constructor introduced that is the cappuccino navigation bar dot last for displaying the last title in the static navigation bar so the next update is in the ui enhancement and there is a improved native fidelity in the pop-off with the more vibrant background blurs you can see in the screenshot also so the next update they did in the new model sheet feature and there they introduce a new cappuccino sheet route and this introduce an ios style model sheet that will support the track to dismiss and there's a function that will be named as a show cappuccino sheet that will facilitate the displaying the model sheet with the nested navigation setup you can see in the screenshot also so the next update they did in the ios text selection updates so when inverted the flutter text selection handle the swap their order on the ios and the border color of the text selection magnifier now matches the current theme so the next updates are in our material 3 updates so there is a new page transaction builder that will be named as a fade forward page transaction builder that will be matches with the android latest transaction behavior so it will be now incoming pages slide and the fade in from right to left while outgoing pages slide out similarly but the fade out you can see in the screenshot also so the next update I did in the progress indicator update and now in the circular progress indicator and the linear progress indicator they updated to align with the material design 3 specifications so for applying this design we have to set the year 2023 variable to false in the progress indicator theme data you can even see in the screenshot also the new type of progress indicators so the next update they did in the slider design update and that will be updated the track and the handle shape as per the material design 3 and for enabling this design we have to just set the year 2023 to false in the slider team data you can even see in the screenshot also the slider look is now changed so the next update I did in the text selection updates and there they introduce the selection listener and the selection listener notifier that will provide a detailed selection information such as the start and the end offsets and also the selectable reason selection status scope help us to check the status of the text selection in the ui you can see in the screenshot also so the next update they did in the material library enhancement so this release include the several bug fixes and a feature enhancement for the material library so the notables fix include the keyboard navigation now correctly trigger the drop down menu on selected callbacks and also they improve the tab bar elastic tab animations and they also improve the ring slider thumb alignments with the divisions and thumb padding and the rounded corners and they also introduce a new property that is mouse cursor property for the chip tooltips and the reordable list view for customizable hover effects and they also improve the accessibilities now the screen reader enhancement for the forms and the drop down menu to better announce the error and the labels so now we have the flutter web updates also so initially in the release in may 2024 there is a requirement for the HTTP response header to host a Flutter web application using WebAssembly. So now in the current update, they have the requirement for the special header that has been relaxed with the default header now run with the WASM, but it is limited to a single thread only. And with updated headers, they support the multiple threading, enhancing the performance of the web applications. And there are also improvement in the WebGL image handling so now we have the asynchronized image decoding so now the images are decoded of the ui thread to prevent the junk and improving the smoothness of the animation and the interactions and they also introduce the image network support and the, now the image network has been updated to handle the 
cross origin resource chaining image seamlessly and simplifying the development with the external images. Next, we have a lot of Flutter engine updates. So first update we have with the Impaler Vulcan's improvements. And so there are the correction and the performance improvement on the basis of that uh, Flutter 3.27 beta releases. The fixes they did in the Impaler is the resolve flicking and the visual jitter on the older Vulcan capable devices. So now they also disable the Android hardware buffer swap chains and now behind a featured flag and they also address the black screen and the crashes on the MediaTek and the power VR devices by disabling the Vulkan. And in the Android emulator also, they now use the Impiler GLS backend for the increased stabilities. So Impiler OpenGL support fallback for the non Vulkan devices in version 3.29. Android devices without a functional Vulkan driver will automatically use the Impiler on the OpenGLS. And they also have the universal compatibility and show that the 100% support for the Flutter on the Android devices. So in the iOS backend updates, they have removal the Skya and the Skya support has been phased out. iOS now use the Impiler only. So in the future update, there will be further reducing the binary sizes for the iOS release as the Skya components are removed now. So the new feature leveraging the Impiler so there is a backdrop filter optimization. So now they are introducing the backdrop group widget and the backdrop filter dot group constructor for enhanced performance with the multiple blurs. There is a new constructor that is image filter dot shader for applying the custom shader enhancing the visual effect flexibilities. So there are also threading changes on the Android and the iOS. So the dot code now ex execute on the application main thread eliminating the separate UI thread. So there is also improvement in the platform interrupt. So these updates represent the significant changes in the performance compatibility and the developer experience in the Flutter engine technology. So these are the main highlighted changes which are introduced in the Flutter 3.29. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.